Hello everybody and welcome. So today I'm going to go over how to update your firmware on the Tesla style head unit. Uh, first thing you'll need is a USB uh, thumb drive, uh, preferably under 32 or 32 or under gig. This one is, if it'll focus, actually 16, which is fine. This is actually the one that I leave in the USB port down there with my music on it. But I've mu moved my music and everything off of it, and uh, so I can use it for this tutorial. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure there's nothing on the USB drive that you need or want to keep. Uh, so I've actually copied everything off onto my laptop and I'll show you that now or move over to the laptop. So we'll plug it in and sorry all I have is the 4k resolution so it's kind of small. But what we'll do is come down here and that's actually where I have my backup. I have it labeled files. It is my E drive. We'll zoom in a little bit for that. Sorry for the shakiness. There we go. Alright, and so you want to make sure that it is actually formatted in NTFS. I mean, sorry, uh, FAT32. So what you do is you can click, right click on it, go down to properties. Let me move this up to where you can actually see it. And you can see it right here, it is actually formatted as FAT32. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. FAT32. So that's what the file system you need uh, so that the radio can actually read it. Um, if it is not formatted as that, what you can do is right click on your drive, choose format, and depending on the size of your drive if it's over 32 gig you won't have fat 32 as an option so just find you a 32 gig or smaller one uh, that way you know it'll work and you choose fat 32 from the drop down label it whatever you want do a quick format otherwise you're going to be sitting there forever and click start it'll tell you whenever it's done and then you can carry on with the rest of this process so once you've done that uh, if you have anything else on your thumb drive, it's not going to hurt anything. You can leave it there. Uh, but it's, for me, I like to just start with a blank slate. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the px3.img file and you're going to copy it to your thumb drive. Uh, I am actually on Sergey's firmware and... Uh, basically you leave the px3.img named exactly that uh, you do not rename it now on the factory firmwares they like for you to rename it to px3 underscore format dot img which will format the entire unit and lay down a fresh image of what you're putting on there uh, so don't do that with Sergey's firmware he's he says that it's best just to leave it as uh, px3.img. Um, it, it's, it, it should just work. Uh, if, if you have any problems, you can always ask him. But So I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave it as px3.img. But pretty much for the rest of this tutorial, it's not going to matter what you have it named. Um, it will, it, you know, it'll all be the same. So once this copies over, uh, we have about another 45 seconds and we will eject the drive and plug it into our uh, USB port on the thing. So I will let this finish up and then I will catch y'all on the other side. All right, so I have the mpx3.img on the thumb drive and I'm going to stick it into the USB port down here. The truck is running and the radio is on, but it shouldn't matter. Plug it in, and we should be greeted here shortly with a firmware updating. You can wait the 20, 30, whatever seconds, um, do it, whatever. I don't. I always just go for install, and it's going to check the package and then reboot. So let's do that.
and we go through the installing system update. And this will take a few minutes. But as long as you can see the progress bar actually progressing, you are good. to read sideways but it's doing actions succeeded please remove the USB disk so we reach on here remove it and it reboots you need to do now is pretty much just exit out I mean you should be good to go if you are already up and running I mean that that's it I mean really you don't have to do anything else um, the only other thing I would highly suggest is on your thumb drive either have a specific thumb drive only for updating uh, and never stick it in the USB port unless you want to update or go ahead and if this is the only one that you're using go ahead and remove the px3.img or px3 underscore format whichever you're using uh, and remove it off of the USB drive and that way whenever you stick it in it's not going to prompt you to update um, because it does take a minute and that would suck if you were in the middle of something and needed your music or access to your unit and you couldn't until it was finished so highly suggest to either have a dedicated USB drive for that or remove the PX3 image off of the USB before inserting it back in your unit. Um, that's what I'm going to do. So that's it. Um, pretty short one today. So if you have any questions or comments just hit me up in the comment section below. Uh, if, you if you like the kind this kind of stuff then smash that subscribe button and um, click the little bell notification out beside it so you can be notified whenever I upload stuff like this. And until next time, you'll have a good day.